Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Ibn Bin Isa And my group consists of Muhammad Razi bin Abdul Rahman Muhammad Razi Ayani bin Muhammad Niza Muhammad Watik bin Muhammad Fawzi And Haikal bin Muhammad And our mini presentation will be regarding on the industry visit to the industry quality management in MRI Alright, firstly uh, there will be three subtopics on our introduction, which is project background, team members, and company background. The purpose of this project is to study the occupational safety and health of a company practices in mid sites. And the chosen company uh, for our industry visit is the Industrial Quality Management in Rebbehide, placed in Shalem. Furthermore, um, the students also required to obtain certain information in the instrument visit, such as identify the facilities for occupational safety and health, which existed or should be existed on the side of the company. Next is list out the hazards which might occur in the site and how to avoid such hazards. Next is also design the OSH management system and lastly list the procedures which need to be carried out in case of emergency or incidents. For our team members, um, there are five group members in our group which lead by Muhammad Razi B. Abdul Rahman and the rest of us is me, myself, Muhammad Ayman Baisa and Muhammad Razi Ayani B. Muhammad Nizam, Muhammad Wafiq B. Muhammad Razi and Haikal B. Muhammad. Alright, continue on the company background which is the Industrial Quality Management in Neighborhood. The company is uh, a local company of manufacturer of plastic and metal components. It was founded in 1992 as a small scale of metal automotive components to produce in Neighborhood. The company's success began in 1994 and it expanded to a bungalow factory in Section 24 Shalom that was entirely dedicated to metal division with 10,000 square feet of space. It also has added three new uh, manufacturing facilities in Perak, Kedah and Selangor. The nature of business in ITM Sunnibahat consists of uh, six nature which is plastic part, fluid transfer system, electronic components, maker technical components, metal part and apparatus part. As this company in a manufacturing industry, there are a lot of process involved in producing their product, such as stamping, molding injection, assembly, painting, tubing, quality check part, hemming and welding. There are also uh, a few heavy duty machines involved in KM Sudan Pack, such as stamping machine, ejection molding machine, tube bending machine, and CNC wire bending machine. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Razif and I will present about part A which is the facilities for occupational safety and health. Okay, for this facility for occupational safety, it is to prevent the hazard, to provide the, equipment, the safety equipment, to provide personal protective equipment, the maintenance program, and the communication tool. Okay, the first one, the safety and health policy at workplace. IQM SKN BHD is categorized as a manufacturing company and IQM is automatically subjected to the FMA Act 1967 and OSHA 1994. All workers here are collaborated together to establish safety and health policy. Number two is the existing facilities to relevant to act and to prevent the hazard. It is very important for every company to provide a safe workplace. The purpose of this is to prevent any accident to occur. It, it also to decrease the damages on the machinery and to save life and it is very necessary for all workers to receive a briefing on the standard operation procedure and to utilize the use of the facilities in a safe manner. We move to the fire extinguisher. It is very important and it is kept within a reasonable distance for each department in the building. Every employee receives a briefing and demonstration on how to use it. The purpose of this is to know how to control the fire and prevent it from, from spreading. Now, next is the fire alarm system. Short brief is important on how to use the fire alarm system. This is to prevent any fire related event to take place. This is to enlighten on how to operate the fire alarm 
to, and to know when is the appropriate time to use it. In case of emergency, the glass on the fire alarm system can be shattered. Next is the yellow tape and line as indicator. To take additional safety measures, yellow lines are placed on the floor. The yellow line spread within the safe walkway and the hazardous area. This is to ensure there is no workers stand between those lines which indicates the high risk of accident. A yellow line indicates the warning and instruction to cross the line. It is compliance with the Ocean Act of 1994. Every heavy machine are positioned inside of this yellow line. Okay, next, we move to the safety sign. It is placed on every corner in the building and it is significant because it gives instruction, uh, delivers safety notice and provides instruction on what to do in case of emergency. It is also color coded with its own special meaning, which is the yellow indicates risk, green indicates guidance, red indicates prohibition and blue indicates instruction. Okay, move to the flood water indicator. For this company, it will located in a place which is it has a very high risk of uh, heavy flood coming of the year and the water indicator level was placed in front of the guard house and the instruction when such a case occur indicator level meaning is uh, state by color which is green is less than 25 cm water level which is considered safe yellow less than 50 cm which is considered standby mode the last one red exceeds 75 cm of water level which is considered as danger we move to the number three which is the safety equipment and the personal protective equipment PPE including helmets, goggles and earplugs it is to protect wearer's body from risk of damage it is a few type of danger that might be mitigated by using PPE is electrical, heat and chemical a person who is exposed to dangerous hazards need to use the PPE and it is to lower the risk of accident or incident and reduce the harm and it is very essential for anyone that enters the building Next is an assembly area, a place where everyone gather when there is an accident occur in the building. Uh, it's considered as a safe zone and built with a large sign, sign that state assembly area. E, number five is a maintenance program communication tool and safety checklist. This company, they use method of Okayoke method to use as a preventive measure to reduce the risk of unexpected breakdown. And Pokayoki is actually a Japanese term of correction and avoidance. There is a scheduled maintenance every month. This is to replace any essential machine, part or component. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Razik Hayani bin Muhammad Nizam and I will present my part which is part B which is hazard that may occur and how to avoid it. A little bit overview for this part. Every manufacturing company may be exposed to hazardous situations that can be prevented if all employees play their role in maintaining their own safety and health. Workplace hazards occur when the working environment poses a risk of injury, disease or death. The dangers can be caused by a variety of factors including equipment, hazardous product, improper working procedures and the conduct of individuals. Most common hazards that were listed out by Occupational Safety and Health Act OSHA that might happen in the manufacturing industries are psychosocial hazard, mechanical hazard, chemical hazard, physical hazard and ergonomic hazard that can be prevented if the organization focus on implementation of safety precautions on every employee. There are several potential hazards that might occur at IQM Senior Berhad and I will tell the details about it on the next slide. Psychosocial hazards are aspects in the design or management of work that enhance the risk of work-related stress and can lead to mental or physical injury. For example, lack of supervisor support and excessive workloads. Site that we choose is IQM Senior Berhad. The causes for this hazard first is insufficient airflow and malfunction of air ventilation system that affect workers having breathing difficulties. Second is excessive workloads that cause stress. For the preventive measure, first, repair the ventilation system and second, upgrade latest technology on machine or increase the number of workers. A physical hazard can be defined as any hazard that can cause a person physical injury. For example, slips, burn, trips and falls. The causes for this hazard is not wearing proper personal protective equipment or PPE. The effect is got physical injuries. For the preventive measure, management can provide proper PPE and share the knowledge about safety procedures and importance of safety and health to the workers. Ergonomic hazards are any physical situation or factors that can cause short or long-term injury or health problems. Ergonomic dangers impact the musculoskeletal system, causing aches and strains that can result in serious illness and irreversible damage to the body. 
for example back pain and cramps. The causes for this hazard is poor working environment. The effect is experienced back pain and cramps. For preventive measure, the management can provide chairs to the workers and give them a short break. Chemical hazards represent the greatest threat to workers whose jobs expose them to hazardous liquids, solvents or combustible gases. For example, chemical exposure can cause disease, skin irritation, respiratory difficulties and in extreme situations can cause death. The causes is the location of cleaning process is not safe. The effect, disease, skin irritation, respiratory difficulties and death. For the preventive measure, the management should reorganize the location of post-processing processes and oblique the employees to wear PPE when conducting chemical substance. Mechanical hazards are posed by the use or exposure to power or manually operated equipment, machinery or plant. Most mechanical injuries are caused by contact or entanglement with machinery, sharp edges, hot surfaces, moving parts, flywheels, pulleys, belts and other components of the machinery could be harmful to the workers. For example, fracture, cut and crushing. Based on the real accident happened at IQM, the, if the causes of the accident is not wearing proper personal protective equipment or PPE. The effect, accident happened resulting the arm got cut by the stamping machine. For the preventive measure, number one, management should set proper standard operating procedure or SOP and number two, workers should wear proper PPE. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Next, we proceed with part C, which is the procedure and the activities need to be carried out in the event of accident that occur. The first case that we have is critical injury. It is defined as a serious injury that endanger life, create the unconscious and lead to significant blood loss. For the procedure critical injury, first one immediately report the critical injury to the manager or the supervisor in charge. Call 911 for the medical help and stop the production line if it involves the production line. Ensure the staff to get away from the incident area. Don't try to rescue without the professional and complete the confidential injury report form. And lastly, apply for compensation and insurance coverage based on contact of working IQM. This is the most important step of procedure after the incident once resolved. Workers and supervisor must complete a work injury report. So here are the in uh, IQM injury report if the accident happened. Okay, next is the case 2, hazardous material spill. It's a spill where the large of Oman hazardous material is released or the release can of the material cannot be controlled. And for the procedure of the hazardous material spill is if the hazardous material meet the skin, immediately flush the affected area with a plenty of water for 15 minutes and seek for medical attention. Call 911 for the safety for the staff and the environment. Stop the source of the hazardous material if possible. Leave the area and close the door of the apartment before it impact the environment. Don't clean the place without the trained personnel. Make it available to par paramedics so they can provide critical information to it in clean out. Okay, next the evacuation of the flood. Flooding can be a serious disaster and one most common disaster in the IQM areas. Flood can be caused by variety of factors including the sudden accumulation of rain and rising river. So here are the action taken for the IQM staff. Firstly, watch person for the right river level and the siren sound for the warning. Introduce the ERT and HDN area for temporary raw material storage. New places for SG storage and lastly, evacuation point for the flood for the safety of the employees. And here are the water indicator level, which is if it reads, it means a danger. And please do not cross the water and go to the assembly point. And if it's yellow, the water is no longer safe, but please execute ART action. And if it's green, it means safe. The water level is safe, and please be cautious with the flood. A very good day to Prof. Ismail. My name is Momo Ofit bin Mahmoud Fauzi, and I'm in charge to present about Part D, which is the design of OS management system. I would like to begin my presentation with the first content, which is the daily routine enforcement and site of industrial quality management in Berhad. During our site visit, there is several knowledge that we learned and we discovered that should be implemented to boost the company's safety and health. Firstly, it's the 5 fast program. 
The objective of 5S program is to ensure the workplace is safe, clean, and well organized to optimize productivity and minimize potential hazards. Nowadays, the 5S standard has been improved by adding another S which stands for safety. The reason is to eliminate the stigma of the 5S program as just for housekeeping and make the 5S program applicable for safety at the workplace. Secondly, it's a daily safety briefing. At Industrial Quality Management Center Berhad, a daily safety briefing will be conducted before the working shift begins for every staff member. This daily safety briefing reminds the employee always to follow the safety procedure when working to make the employee become more aware of hazards. Moreover, this routine can promote a safety culture at workplace and minimize risk and accident to happen in future. Lastly is the machine inspection. The aim of this daily machine inspection is to avoid using broken machine or failing to avoid any water accident at workstation. Example of daily machine inspection according to Industrial Quality Management Syndrome Rehard Firstly, ensure the power supply of the machine is well connected before starting the machine Ensure the sound of the machine operating is normal and if not, need to call the supervisor immediately for further investigation Then run the trial execution of the machine procedure to ensure the machine is operating in good condition And finally, remove SNF factors by performing the 5S program at the workstation Okay, jump into the next content which is a safety awareness and training program there are several programs that can increase safety and health of organization and must be implemented for every organization. Firstly, is the 5S program. This 5S program can increase performance, productivity, and safety at the workplace because 5S program is an effective tool for continuous improvement and productivity for organization. Then, 5S quality tool has been proven to effectively boost productivity and continuous improvement of employees and workflow according to previous study. The previous study shows an organization who implement the 5S methodology show significant improvement in their quality outcome of product. Next is a fire safety program. This program is for preventing an incident involving fire to minimize every risk from the hazard at the workplace and as a prevention step if encounter fire incident in future. Therefore, by implementing the fire safety program, the organization can minimize the risk of fire incident and simultaneously build a safe workplace environment that the practice occupational safety and health very well. Okay, after that, I would like to shift this presentation to the next content which is the safety procedure and policy. According to Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA, every organization in industry must prepare the standard operating procedure. SOP for covering safety and health of every word that involves with hazardous like chemical or processes or equipment machine. The aim of SOP is to guide the employee to perform the specific task with correct procedure with right practice of OSHA to prevent and minimize risk and hazard at workplace while maintaining the outcome of product or service quality. Furthermore, I would like to present about related OSHA documents that we have been exposed during our site visit for general safety knowledge. Firstly, is the quality management system. Industry Quality Management Syndrome Berhad has it applied to um, ISO for Automatic Production and Relevant Service part of organization. The International Organization for Standardization ISO create a system for standardizing to ensure the quality, safety, and efficiency of products or services. For this case, this ISO category is for standardizing every production and service for automotive part and component in Industrial Quality Management Syndrome Berhad to meet customers and suppliers' requirement. For example, um, industry Quality Management Sustainable Heart is one of the company in charge of producing Proton Besa, Saga, and S70 door handles. Therefore, standardiz standardization of the design is crucial for the assembly process since many other companies have created the other part of this Proton scar. And standardization will ensure the quality and specification of the automatic part is made the requirement. Next is the incident report. According to the Quality Management Sustainable Heart, the latest incident reported was in February 22 and the incident caused the victim to lose his right arm. The incident report should be recorded and documented for every workplace incident to improve their company safety policy. Besides, it will let the upper management know the problem or issue in their workplace and emphasize more on safety and health regulation. That's all from me. Thank you very much. Okay, lastly, we concluded that ITF Sanabar Heights complex with occupational safety and health act by providing safety and ensuring health of the employees and environment in the workplace. Um, there are also additional suggestions to ensure the safety of the workplace, just as the person in charge need to be alert on the workers' attire or PPE. Second is the person in charge can test the employees regarding the hazard in the workplace, possible accidents and how to handle in case of emergency or accidents. Lastly, OSHA is very important to be applied in a workplace because it ensures 
that all relating safety and health standards as well as procedures are strictly followed in order to avoid potential occupation hazards.